What's up, everybody? We are going on a special adventure today. We are in Tarpon Springs, Florida, and we are going to be taking a boat ride out to Unclothed Key and to Three Rooker Island. So these are islands that are situated um, directly west from Tarpon Springs, and um, we are gonna see if we can find some shells, get some great shots of the surroundings, and anything else that we encounter on the way. So let's get going, let's check it out. We are out here on Unclothed Key. I'm with my mom. Say hi. hi. She's collecting sand dollars. And we're out here on Unclothed Key. We took the boat out with Captain Josh here. I will link his stuff in the description of my video. And uh, yeah, let's explore Unclothed Key. Beautiful stuff. Woo! And another. More chestnut turbines. We got a chestnut turbine that's really gold in color. It's a little bit more. Oh, there's so many chestnut turbines here. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, they're everywhere. Seriously. Gosh, there's so many. Look at this beautiful one here. Chestnut turbines all around. This place is covered in shells. We got a beautiful calico scallop here. And then if I move over here, we got tons of chestnut turbines. And a beautiful lightning well. A little, whew, ah, a little juvenile fighting conch. Oh man, this place is amazing on Club Key. Look at all the shells here, y'all. Unbelievable. Right here at the southern tip of Uncloak Key. Let's see what else we got. I mean, I could literally pick up a million of these chestnut turbines. Another lightning whelk. Grab that. All right, let's, uh, let's dive in and see what else we can find. All right, tons. Chestnut turbines. Literally. I got a lettered olive right here. It's all covered up. Got it right there. Nice little lettered olive. Barrel. Chestnut turbines. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Alright, we're exploring the high tide line here a little bit. We've got another awesome sun ray. Sunray Venus. Sorry, I think I misidentified this as a Talon before. This is a Sunray Venus. Beautiful. So many shells here. Another one here. With a juvenile fighting conch right next door. Beautiful little apple murex right here. Look at this. Oh man, this is nice. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, sorry, it's a little busted. But that is beautiful. That's huge. I'm not going to keep it, but that's awesome. Got a buried fighting conch here. Wow. I think this is a base scallop. Look at that. Beautiful. 
beautiful base scallop, man. Wow. There are so many gorgeous little chestnut turbines here. So many. They are beautiful. Tons of them. So we are just about to be joined by a shell ferry here from Tarpon Springs. So we're going to get rolling down the beach here. Shelling is competitive, y'all. Y'all, look at all of these chestnut turbines. This is insane. I've never seen so many chestnut turbines in one spot. This is insane. Look at this. Look at this one. They're like golden. All right, let's look here. See if we can find some cool things. Oh, oh man, there's so many chestnut turbines here. So we could just, we could spend a couple minutes here to grab some of these beauties. Because there's all different colors. There's so many different colors. We've got a lace murex right here. Gorgeous. Man, this is the spot. If you want to get some shells on Claude Key, it's the spot. This is absolutely gorgeous. And there's so many beautiful little chestnut turbines. Like, look at that. Yeah, look at that, man. I can't get it in focus, but I can get it here. <laughs> Look at this pile of chestnut turbines, y'all. And I'm sure that there's other stuff buried in here. I've never seen piles of chestnut turbines. But look, we got a little parallel here. Oh man, this is this is nice. Another lettered olive right here. Huh. Beautiful shell right there. Beautiful little auger. Look at the point on this. That is a spearhead on that auger. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Lemon yellow. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So a little bit about Unplug Key. This is the northernmost key here uh, in the uh, Tampa St. Pete Clearwater region. So it's the northernmost uh, key north of uh, um, Caladesi Island and Honeymoon Island. And you can get here, uh, there's charters out of Tarpon Springs. Uh, and that's why there's tons of people around here. Uh, as you can see, one of the charters just arrived. Um, we took a, a private charter out here, so we can kind of go at our own pace. Uh, the public charters leave. Um, you have about 30 minutes to shell out here. I did this a couple years ago uh, with, with the uh, Odyssey tour, I believe. Uh, but it's 30 minutes is just not enough time to shell. So I'm glad that we can kind of go at our own pace here because um, there's a lot of stuff here and I'm glad we have the extra time, so that's important. Gorgeous. Oh man, that is a beautiful lace murex. There's another one over here. That is so beautiful. Oh man. Look at that. Alright, this is a tulip mussel. Gorgeous. I love finding those. You know, I just want to highlight the rack line that is on this island. This is insane. There is so much drift here. A lot of it is 
chestnut turbans. But if you zoom in and get close, there's beautiful juvenile fighting conks here. And if we look over here, just tons of stuff. Fighting cogs. And a beautiful letter O oh, right here. Right there. Right. A bit of a shell pile here. There's just tons of turbans. A little top snail here. Another auger. Another beautiful auger here. Look at this. Oh, so awesome. This is a gorgeous letter to olive. It's beautiful. Really nice and glossy. Absolutely gorgeous. Y'all, there's just I'm, this. I haven't seen a rack line on a beach like this in a very long time. It's amazing. Nice lettered olive and a lightning whelk. Beautiful stuff. All right, this is a really cool find. This is a long spine star shell, and I've found these before at honeymoon and. Caladesi, which is just south of here, which is really cool because I only ever other find these shells in the Florida Keys. However, they seem to be pretty common in this area, and I'm not sure why. That's a that's a long spined star shell. All right, so we got a true tulip here that is almost whole. It does have a hole in the back, so I'm not going to keep it, but. Pretty cool. I never find true tulips in Central West Florida. <laughs> so Ankloki is winning my heart right now. Nice. Back to nature, but I will also enjoy nature. I'm close key. It's gorgeous. Anklot Key lighthouse in the distance there. And then looking west, this beautiful barrier island. It's really amazing.
I just I just dug this little guy out. We were just talking about fighting Kongs. This one is really, really gorgeous. It's a really, really beautiful orange aperture. I'll definitely be keeping this one. It's awesome. So many shells here. Oh, look at this lightning milk. This is a beauty. That is a nice lightning milk. A little bit of barnacles, but all in all, not too shabby. Nice. A couple of finds here. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Look at the lip on that. That is absolutely, it's like brown, dark, it's like black and red. I don't know if you can, y'all can see that. That is awesome. I wanna wash this out, one sec. Okay, let's wash this out, take a look. All right, look at this. Look at the stain on that. Reminds me of those milk conks in Turks and Caicos where they have that metallic black. I've never seen a fighting conch like that. That's beautiful, awesome find. Guys, I'm not kidding you, there is another fighting conch here with that black orange stain. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna keep this one. The other one is a little bit more impressive, but this is, uh, that's beautiful. Man, Uncle, Uncle Guy has some great shells. This is spectacular. It's beautiful. Y'all, I just found a beautiful alphabet code. Look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. Guys, that is a perfect alphabet cone. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Isn't that nice? Yes. Ah, uh, wow. This is the best alphabet cone I've ever found in Central West Florida. And I've been chilling here for a while. That is, that makes the day worth it. Rooker Bar or Island? Three Rooker Island. Three Rooker Island. And that was created by a hurricane, right? Like yeah. a buildup of sand? Yeah, the, the new um, the, the new pass is due to the, the tidal change and the storms that have come through. It used to be a, a, about a three mile island, now it's two separate individual islands with a relatively large pass in between the islands. Got it. I'll open it for you. I got it. Get some hand warmers here. It's a little chilly. Rooker Island here and we spent some time on Uncloak Key which is just north of here and uh, this is an un uninhabited little sandbar island and uh, it's here it's very beautiful all right we are at the southern end of the island here and again there's a bunch of chestnut turbans here Beautiful. Oh, here we go. Here's a little Natica. Nice find. A little bit weathered, but still beautiful. I think we got a 
live true tulip here. Probably has a hermit in him. You should have yep. Floor of your house. He's got a little little hermit crab. That's a hermit crab inside of a true tulip. He's being a little shy though, so I'll put him back in his in his spot. Beautiful little white auger here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nice. Alright, there is just tons of drift right here. We're gonna comb through. We got a few minutes. Let's go. Look at this gorgeous orange. Chestnut turban. Here, the backdrop. Absolutely beautiful. On Three Rooker Island. I mean, this is just, it's honestly mostly chestnut turbans, but they're everywhere. Literally, there's a little parallel here. That's cool. I like that, but look at all these turbans. There's tons and tons of turbans. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous shells here. And the cool thing is about this spot, it's hard to get to because it's uninhabited and you really have to have your own boat to get here. <laughs> Gorgeous stuff. Parawelk. some of these are. Let's keep looking. Look at this. My gosh. This is some exotic shelling here, man. And then a beautiful, ooh, a cone. That's not in the best condition, though. Well, and a tulip that is in better condition. I'll keep that. Oh, man, there's so much stuff here. Let's keep looking. Obviously, I will need your help here if I miss something, because there's a lot of stuff, and I feel like I'm going quick, but we don't have a lot of time here. Our tour's almost done, so a little parallel here. Gorgeous. Beautiful little shells. I've never seen so many chestnut turbans in my life. It's unbelievable. Ha! Huh. Beautiful little scallop there. Another long spine star shell. And another one here. A couple of these guys here. That's good. Really a couple of really pretty ones. Again, I never find these anywhere else but the Tampa Bay area, north of Tampa Bay, St. Pete. Alright, y'all. It's gonna be a hole. It is. It is. Oh, it's a pretty one too. Let's wash it. Beautiful. Florida fighting conch. I'm gonna leave it here though. But it's nice. Nice home for a hermit crab. Alright, one last shell before we leave. Three worker here since there's so many of them. We will close the day with arguably the most beautiful white and orange chestnut turban. This place is so beautiful and that shell is a beautiful way to end the day. So nice. All right, our, uh, our time is, has ended here on Three Ricker Island and so we are going to be heading back. Since we're on a limited time frame here, I'm going to uh, show you my finds on the boat, some of the best ones. We found a lot of good stuff. Most of it was on, on Cloak Key, but wow, Three Ricker Island here is really something to behold, I can tell you that. 
Absolutely gorgeous. So I will check you with the finds shortly. Woo.